Alright guys, so a few months ago I announced that I would be releasing uh, something called the 8-bit hub uh, which allow people to uh, develop a game with 8-bit Unity uh, that they can use then online or uh, with peripherals such as mouse and SD card. For those who are not familiar, the 8-bit hub is a concept of having a peripheral that you can uh, attach to a 8-bit computer such as the Apple II, the Atari XLXE, C64, the Auric Atmos, or again an Atari Lynx. And they will all be compatible with this one piece of hardware uh, that will expand uh, what is possible uh, by offering Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, micro SD storage, uh, extra joysticks, up to three, as well as a PS2, PS2 mouse port. So here it is. Uh, we've got a prototype, okay, with a nice 3D printed case. So what do we have here? Well, we have uh, a 20 uh, by 4 LCD screen, which is used for uh, configuration of the 8-bit hub, like finding your home network and connecting to it. Uh, we've got on this side three Atari-style joystick ports, those those actually uh, will support two button joypads and joysticks. Uh, we've got a PS2 port to connect uh, a mouse. We've got here the power input and a micro USB port uh, which is used for updating the firmware of this 8-bit hub. It can also be used for supplying power instead of this uh, 5 volt input here. And on the other side uh, we've got a micro SD card slot. All right. Let's see. Up, oh, back in. All right. And here we've got a communication uh, with your 8-bit computer. So that can mean uh, the Atari Lynx. It can be the uh, Auric, and it can be a Commodore, an Atari XL, etc., etc. So what's in, what is inside that uh, board actually, I've got here a sample of the content. So first of all, here we have an Arduino Mega, which is coupled with an ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi module. So what's really cool about this board is it actually got, it has got two processors. Uh, this is the Arduino uh, Mega processor and the ESP can also be used for processing stuff and at the moment it doesn't do much it just reads the mouse and controls the Wi-Fi uh, but in the future it will be doing cool stuff like uh, decoding JPEG file and so on uh, when you're looking at the contents of the SD card uh, connected to it we've got on this side here the three joysticks Three joystick ports. Here we've got a micro SD card module. On this side we've got the PS2 socket uh, which is actually uh, first passing through a uh, voltage converter here so that's a logic converter from 3 volt to 5 volt. And finally we've got here the 20 by 4 LCD screen. Now what's interesting about all these parts is that if you are interested in producing your own 8-bit hub, I will be releasing all the connection diagrams and you can buy the parts yourself uh, from eBay or Amazon and build your own 8-bit uh, hub. So yeah, the firmware also will be made open source for people who are interested in to expanding the functionality of this system. As you can see, we are far from using all of the available uh, pins on this Arduino board. So then all this stuff goes into a 3D printed case. So here we've got a sample. Alright. So it is a little bit of a tight space to get everything in, but I did put quite much thought into making sure that it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes to do it uh, for somebody who's got the hang of it. And especially important for me and my wife uh, because we're going to be producing uh, as many as possible of those 8-bit hubs. 
and here in black uh, you have the front cover which will be attached to the screen like this all right and then goes nicely like this and there's just a couple of screws on the side to hold the thing together so that you can easily go in and out of the box so in this first demonstration i'm going to show you the 8-bit hub being used for multiplayer gaming on a single links so we've got the links here communicating with the 8-bit hub and you can see on the side i've connected two joy pads into the connectors uh, and i'm going to use some uh, old amstrad cpc uh, joy pad for this uh, you could equally use atari or commodore joysticks or joypad that would work just as well and here you can see in the menu of 8 bit slicks uh, player one is on the internal links joystick whereas player two and three are connected to the hub so let's start the race okay and if i press the acceleration on the links the blue car is going now i'm going to pick up one of the controller here and I'm gonna press Excel. The red car is moving. So here I can make it turn and kind of race. Okay. Can do this very well. And then I take the other controller. And of course the green car will be moving. Yeah? So there we are. So in this next video I'm going to show you the 8-bit hub being used as a network device. So here we've got the 8-bit hub. Uh, it's connected to the links here with the communication cable. And as you can see it has an IP address uh, connecting to my Wi-Fi network. And behind here you've got uh, a Commodore 64 uh, running the 8-bit slicks game. Uh, which is also running on the links here and as you can see if I start moving the blue car well of course you can see it moving on the Commodore all right so I would have liked to have two links to show you this demonstration but I only have one so please trust me that if you and a friend have uh, each an 8-bit hub, you can play this game together online. Um, and just to confirm this demonstration, I'm going to use the joystick from the Commodore 64. And here you can see the red car is moving on the Commodore 64. And it's moving down here also on the links. Alright. So here you can see the 3D printer which I purchased in order to support the production of the 8-bit hub case. Uh, it's right now printing a couple of the uh, cases here in red color. And you can see uh, the status diagram. How many have I produced so far? But I've only received this um, a week ago and I'm able to print about four cases per day. So here you can see this uh, about a a dozen and a half cases already printed and quite a few covers to go with it and this is again what the final product looks like so where are we going next with this project uh, me and my wife Saki are going to try to produce as many as we can of this uh, 8 bit hubs by ourselves uh, but like I said before the uh, firmware and connectivity diagrams are going to be released on github so if you're interested in making your own uh, you will be able to do that whether it's just making this kind of uh, connection or if you have a 3d printer you can also print your own case and so on really the objective here for me personally is not to make money uh, it's more to do something for the community that is useful uh, that the community will embrace and support and hopefully make a lot of cool games, online games for those old system like the Lynx um, which would be fantastic and really keep giving some exciting life into those old system. Alright so that's all for now uh, I will be soon coming with some news about 
when the first uh, batch of Abit Hub will be uh, available for sale. So please keep tuned. Uh, you might have to wait a little bit more. Uh, I just want to make sure that the quality control is done before we ship uh, those modules so that the people who will buy one uh, can be sure that what they receive will be working and they already have a game, a bit slicks that they can enjoy and there will be more to be released in the future. Alright, so that's all for today and speak to you soon.